And we're back. Welcome to hour 13 of uh, 24 Terrible Hours. Uh, Lemon's a little under the weather at the moment, so we're <laughs> we're gonna gonna That's keep going he with it. Saw him. the title called "Glaze of the Fireflies." <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, the, the, the chat's really going nuts with their. Uh... No, we're we're moving on from that now. Let's <laughs> let's 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 put the cum aside. Um, and we're gonna now do uh, what is ostensibly Jack Chick's pick, even though he <laughs> really selected himself. Yep. <laughs> Sure didn't. <laughs> uh, we had to do a, 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 a change no, of so, content at the last minute for this one. No, no, no. So let's do my pick here that I don't know anything about. So okay, let me, yeah, uh, well, uh, Jack, it, Jack, tell us about it. Yeah, so this is um, called Linkful Triad Trilogy Part One: A Rose on Martha's Breast, uh, and then we have some characters. Yo, um, <laughs> okay, so we've got Linda, who's Martha's mom. Yo, uh, then we've got Bob, who's Martha's dad, who rakes her. Um, mm -hmm. like, and that she was leaves. Uh, then Martha, Martha has a rose brooch, and then we've got a um, magical rose brooch, uh, which is Martha's magical rose brooch. Um, so yeah, so th it's going to be really exciting. That's uh, the dramatis personae. It's going to be um, super fun. You're all going to love it. It's really <laughs> good, I think. Um, okay, so good. yeah, let's uh, let's cast this. Mm -hmm. So, uh, uh, Jimmy Franks. Yes. Uh, you're going to be Martha. All right. Uh, a Jack Chick. You can take Linda. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, who? I, I don't even remember who we have. <laughs> well, Hello. We, have, uh, we have Kumquat. Oh, Kumquat's going to be the brooch. <laughs> <laughs> I am a brooch. Uh, bo boots, we have you. Uh, and then I can take Bob. Okay, and then Zarla, do you want to do narration? Uh, yeah, I think so. Sure. I am a brooch. <laughs> 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 I think you're credited as Rose here. <laughs> okay. Act one, scene one. A low-down, trashy room with an easel standing in the middle and a couch on the far left with a very small television on the right, straight across from the B-up couch. Like, I guess on the Nintendo controller. Bob is married to Linda, and Martha is their daughter. <laughs> Mom, why do you force me to paint? Uh... <laughs> paint, you dumb wits. <laughs> Should I read the stage yeah, directions yeah, yeah, too? Yeah, yeah. Or... Yeah. Okay. okay. Scornful look and turns head back to television. <laughs> why is she so stubborn? I don't know. Linda, go get me a burr. <laughs> All right, sweetie gut. Linda kisses Bob on the check and walks off stage. <laughs> Watch a painting over there, Martha. You and mom on the couch. <laughs> if your mom goes to market tomorrow, we will do you know what tomorrow. Why tomorrow? Because, oh my god. <laughs> you got this. <laughs> because your mom will go to circuit tomorrow. Shut up and paint. An impossible number of exclamation marks. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's worth... It's worth noting to uh, the, the audience here that almost every single one of these is followed by about 20 exclamation marks. Every line. Every line. <laughs> Linda walks back on stage. Here you go! Hands Bob a beer and sits back down on sofa. Thanks, honey tits! <laughs> you are welcome! Linda, will you go to the market tomorrow? Yes, I will go to the market tomorrow We to pick up milk, eggs, beer, chucks... <laughs> <laughs> Chuck, oh. Chuck's steak, as in the thing you kill vampires yeah, with. It's a vampire, <laughs> vampire named Chuck. Brown, <laughs> Ground be off, toothpaster, <laughs> fish good, <laughs> fish good, pant, and some shampoo. <laughs> Looking towards Martha. Okay, that is very good. Why is that very good? That is very good because, because I need beer. <laughs> oh. 
But Dad, <laughs> you said you were going to shut up and paint you, Lytel Elv Evelyn. Uh, you Lytel <laughs> Evelyn, your old whore. Okay. <laughs> Act one, scene two. Martha's bed, nothing but an easel and a bed are in a room. <laughs> Martha, lay on the bed. I can't go to sleep. This licks nits. <laughs> ha! 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 I am the magical rose brooch on your breast! Uh, who are you? I am the magical rose brooch on your breast! <laughs> What do you want, Witcher me? I want to give you useful info st to stop your paoa from raping you. <laughs> that is very kind. How do I do it? <laughs> Tomorrow, when he starts to take off yours or his cloth hinked, punch me and yell. By the power of Rose Brooch Land, I have the power! <laughs> Good. I was hoping for the He-Man reference. Yep. <laughs> then, yo, see what will happen when. <laughs> Thank you, kind Brooch, but what will happen? You will see yo! <laughs> Why are you helping me? Because I am the magical Rose Brooch on your breast! <laughs> oh! Thanks, Sir Brooch! Will you tell me no? Whoa? No, you cunt! <laughs> oh. Brooch got angry. <laughs> <laughs> Act 1, scene 3. Bob's bedroom after Linda had left. Bob is alone on a bed wearing nothing but a tight, tight muscle shirt and a pair of Joe Boxers. Product placement. <laughs> Come here. We error going to do you no as a negative what now? Huh. 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 Strap huh. the kills in, boys. Huh. 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 Martha! Ha. 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 Go to ten. Ha. Go to ten. <laughs> Martha walks on stage. You look very sexy today, Martha. Thank you, Papa. <laughs> now I will take off my clothing. <laughs> Starts to remove his muscle shirt. <laughs> Touches Rose Brooch. By the power of Rose Brooch Land, I have the power. <laughs> Bob dies. Crying and embracing her dead dad's body. I killed my daddy. Oh, Papa, I'm sorry, Dad. No. <laughs> Mr. A, what have you done? I killed both you, Mom and Daddy. Isn't that what you wanted? No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Our. Dare you, you evil brooch! <laughs> Turns into his human form and is very muscular and carries a ver large and broad broadsword. <laughs> uh, <laughs> are you going to kill me now? <laughs> Maybe if you are mean to me again. Now go paint, and I will rape you tomorrow. Ha! Ha! Oh ha! 
moral of the story, never thrust evil rose brooches in evil plots to kill you or parents, because Tehei will rape you and Mike you paint to. They turn out to be just as bad. Ha 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 ha. The end? <laughs> Oh, yeah. Uh, no, great. I think that was compelling. Compelling. <laughs> <laughs> um, Everybody was so enthusiastic. Yeah. So uh, uh, we're not going to do the next one because I'm looking at the cast members of that one, and that's no way Ooh. that's happening. Although um, I don't, it, it does include a character named Pixie, who is an other contestant on Geopsurdy. <laughs> <laughs> Um, fortunately, this document is 43 pages, so we get to choose. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Prolific play right this Oh time. my god, yeah, we have to do uh, part three of this, because the cast <laughs> includes uh, John Cassavetes, <laughs> who is the best director on God's Green Earth A, Woo Hoob, <laughs> um, as long as Mary Cassavetes, John's wife, uh, Ben Gazzara, the person playing the character Cosmo in The Adventures of Japanese Rookie, and uh, Nick Cassavetes, John's lesser son, Yo. Oh, sick yo. burn on Nick. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> Not his tombstone. Um, yeah, so uh, so uh, Jimmy Franks, you're the lesser son. John, uh, oh. oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, you're the lesser son, Nick. Yeah. Uh, Kumquat, you are John Cassavete A's. Uh, I'll take Mary and uh, uh, Jack Chick. Is that my my subtracting correctly? Yeah, <laughs> you're Ben you Gazzara and uh, and Port uh, not Portex. God, <laughs> wow, I'm losing it already. <laughs> Zarla, you want? No, I'm not Portex. We're not the same person. <laughs> no, Why would you say not. that? <laughs> Zarla, you want to take Mary again? No. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Act one, scene one, the Cassavetti's household. Mary lay in a rocking chair knitting, and John sits on the very pensive sofa with a Heineke. Hein Heineken is, I guess, is an other kin with Heineken. <laughs> he is so whoa 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 uh, awesome and beer. <laughs> I love football. <laughs> 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 this is excellent. This is this is script writing one on one. He's establishing a strong character right out of the gate. You know what John is about. I was like picturing I love football written on the back of like a jersey. <laughs> so, if you're gonna put that on a jersey, make sure you spell it with two A's and four L's. <laughs> Yeah. And then like 30 yeah, exclamation one marks. One, one K. One K. And one K. And one K. Like... One K. One K. One K. Yeah. Can you please be quiet, honey? Nick's trying to sleep. Oh, so you try owing to sleep, yo? Gets up and slaps his wife. Ah! <laughs> Crying on the floor. That hurt, yo! Oh god, how do I do this in this voice? <laughs> <laughs> the lawnmower won't start. <laughs> Next try to sleep, you are <laughs> crying. Yes, dear. Walks on stage. Daddy, I hate the yelling and screaming and mommy crying. Is is that food? <laughs> nice attention span. No, son. It takes a sop of bear. Take that. <laughs> <laughs> I spilled the bear on the floor. And, uh, <laughs> my rags. That's not good. That's the sound of a slut. Crying her whiny little eyes out. That soon of the worst sounds in the world. Mary begins to cry even harder. Daddy, when I grow up, I want to be just like you, yo. I know. Who doesn't, yo? Ha! 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 
<laughs> now, go T on to O bed, Nikki Cheeks. <laughs> Nikki walks off stage, walks over to Martha's body and kicks it. Or John does. Uh, uh, you whore! You woke up the boy! Yowie, the woman! You suck! Harsh. You hit me! It hurt, yo! <laughs> well, you didn't have to cry so dang loud now, did you? Bitch! Ha! 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 <laughs> Slaps Mary, my good friend. <laughs> All caps. <clears throat> Mary wipers as she curls up on the floor and cries her gay little eyes out. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> We're learning a lot about Mary right now. Uh, -hoo -hoo! We're learning a lot about J.J. Thompson. <laughs> yeah, that's true, yes. <laughs> Some more beer, <laughs> like five exclamation points. <laughs> Act one, scene two. In John's kitchen, two days after the Pervost events, John had been asleep for one whole day due to an extreme head headache. Yo, <laughs> Mary, <laughs> Mary, Mary, coo something, <laughs> and, and John sits down reading the new paper, waiting for f good. Nick has already at school. <laughs> uh, the food's ready, dear. Come and get it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Gets up and goes over to stove with his empty plate. His wife scrapes back on on his plate and makes it full. Ha 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 What? What? Okay. What is, what is the what? cackling? <laughs> what? What's the narrator cackling at yeah. that? It's still in the friends. It's yeah, no, it's stage, it is. stage directions. The narrator thinks it's really funny. Right. <laughs> John John kisses his wife on the cheek playfully. Is that the first coherent sentence? There's no typos or anything. Right. <clears throat> Ooh, honey, where that Bruce come from? <laughs> Small tears coming in into her eyes. <laughs> I was walking in through a den the other night. <laughs> like, like, <laughs> The other night. <laughs> the other medieval night. <laughs> and tripped on one of Nick's carelessly left around toys and fell <laughs> flat on my face, yo. <laughs> oh, well, a very, 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 oh my God. very, 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 Bert. <laughs> That's a Bert bruise, man. You should get that checked out. Mm, you should put some vaseine on it. What? Okay. Some vaseine. Yeah, for your bruise, yeah. <laughs> that makes that makes sense. Yeah, it's vaseine. It's the stuff you put on a Bert bad bruise. Then your bruise is really dry, you know? <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll do that. What time do you, you have to be at work today? <laughs> I have to be there at 12 o'clock sharp. I can stay for lunch today. <laughs> That's nice. And Merrick. Why don't you come with me to work today? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe I can make you an extra into movie, yo! <laughs> uh, yeah, like that, I would. <laughs> what would you like to do? Anything 
I'm fine, Hootie. <laughs> You're so <laughs> nice. I'm the luckiest guy in the world to have a wife like you. Mutters. <laughs> Wait, I've Mary mutters. Oh, mutters. <laughs> oh. I'm the unlikiest woman in the world, then. <laughs> what was that, dear? <laughs> oh, nothing. Just thinking of a recipe for German toast. <laughs> German toast! <laughs> <laughs> like going Super Saiyan. <laughs> <laughs> That's wonderful. I'll still put it in my movie. <laughs> <laughs> but I just remember this is about John Cosmetis. <laughs> yeah, this is John Cosmetis. <laughs> I right. just remembered it. <laughs> it's really, really it's... Dead Durant's characterization. <laughs> It'll have Ben's character. That's <laughs> Coxmock, by the way. What? <laughs> Patrick Three, the search for cocksmock. Cocksmock! That's cocksmock! In case you've forgotten that word I'm saying, that's cocksmock. Isn't that a palindrome? <laughs> <laughs> that's cocksmock! By the way, go into a bra to get some coffee and a slice of German toast! Hiss! Ha! 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 Ham! <laughs> <laughs> I am hideous. That's, that's very clever of you, John. <laughs> I know. I am god of movies. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> It's Ric Flair, the nature boy. <laughs> <laughs> it's 9 0 o'clock. <laughs> we better hurry up and start cooking lunch if we want to make it to the sun time. Pop the turkey, turkey you in the oven. <laughs> the we, better, oh. we better get going. I gotta stick this turkey in the oven. <laughs> <laughs> How Actually, you long you. will this take? Not long. <laughs> well, this Danum turkey better hurry up. Yo! <laughs> I don't want to get fired because of a goddamn turkey. Dame turkey. <laughs> uh, you won't, dear. Wrong, dear. Trust me. <laughs> I had an idea. Whenever Ben get his German tosty, <laughs> Wilk be the the waitress. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> A waitress. That's lovely, honey. <laughs> Do you not wanna be a waitress? Ben? <laughs> I'll oh, get someone <laughs> else to do tit. <laughs> no idea. <laughs> but the last one really quickly turned into a more, more a morality tale, and this is just <laughs> It's a day at home in the cafe. Well, so, suppose, so, supposedly my character will show up at some point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have to skip a bunch because this keeps going. <laughs> <laughs> well, but then the listeners won't know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Ben shows up soon. Uh, so a bunch of this happens uh, now on the set of Killing a Chinese. Sorry, the set of Killing of a Chinese Rookie, um, where uh, uh, John yells, "Shut up, cunt face, McGee." <laughs> <laughs> and he says, I own Jew. Um, actually, no, uh, sorry, Jack, Jack, your character never shows up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait, wait, you're wait, right. What? Wait, what? Hey, what's his character today? Oh, no, it's Ben? No, my, no, I'm Ben. Okay, yeah, you, okay. Yeah, Ben shows up. Don, Mary, Ben, and Nick, okay. Okay. Um, 
where's that? <laughs> How do we do this? It's it's no, it's just above uh, cunt face McGee or below <laughs> cunt face McGee. Um, I, I I think we should start with uh, L. That was Ted Best. <laughs> uh, oh yeah 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 okay John. It's right below the it's right below the yeah. line. Yeah, the scene is. <laughs> oh, I, I, narrator, will you cue us in? <laughs> the scene is dot. Oh, <laughs> dot. <laughs> Scene start. However, the du director wanted it to look. L. That was the best scene in any flick ever made with three Cheerios on top. I love cherries. Then I will make you a cherry casserole <laughs> when we get home because I am a woman. <laughs> it's Ty is my job to cook and clean and mop and work and all that shit while my dog and husband it actually says that <laughs> while my dog and husband works hard to to oh I've, I've used the wrong two in two different ways okay. to make hard moolah and put pretty dresses on my back yo <laughs> yo <laughs> you and bet your ass. Ha 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 ha! Shit, man, that is some funny, funny <laughs> stoof. <laughs> ha ha ha! <laughs> Ha! 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 Ah! Aha! <laughs> I bet the sperm from your penis will stain some pussy tonight. <laughs> <sighs> uh, giving thumbs oop. <laughs> Hell! Yeah! Yo! The end? <laughs> Hey, uh, it's, I like that Jimmy Franks is pasting in the comments and <laughs> the, the, the content of this into the chat just so that they can understand yeah. what it is we're reading. <laughs> <It's>... <laughs> hey, uh, Jimmy Franks, do you want to read the Look author's it. notes on this? Oh, sorry. <laughs> the <laughs> author's yes, notice? Yes. No, it's not. The... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's read the author's notice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> Uh, oh my god, uh... <laughs> Thanks, Arthur. <laughs> Thanks, Arthur. Um, okay, Arthur's sure. Noters. Arthur's <laughs> noters. Okay, so I know this was short. I'm so sorry. I think that this play will have a lot to saw a boot. Cassavetes, because he are such a gritty director, but he always <laughs> fucked women wrongly. <laughs> I say this because he kicked them and punched them and hurt Tema, cut them and saved them and shot them and killed them, and that is not right in any way whatsoever. <laughs> I am serious here, folks. Like serious mm -hmm. laugh from Harry Potter. Satellite, satellite radio. <laughs> <laughs> don't fuck women oh sorry don't fuck we omen the wrong way or they will feel bad and stoop fucking you <laughs> they can't hurt you though cause they just women <laughs> <laughs> but oh, killing God. slash beating whim woman is wrong on many ass levels <laughs> so do not do it or I will come to your house and beat you yo <laughs> <laughs> My girlfriend is all goth and shit, so it, it is all right for me to her, but your GF is not gothic and hates begin cut, so you should not cut her anywhere. Huh. <laughs> okay, no, my mama calling me, so I better go to diner. <laughs> I love dinner! <laughs> <laughs> Turkey is the bets. <laughs> no, we're, we're, is the we're, bets. we're getting little, little hints into the inspiration of this. <laughs> <laughs> Did you catch my turkey revere in my Cassavetes play, BTW? It is so awesome. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> A lot of layers in this. Yeah. <laughs> 
Um, I gotta look at a few pages of this. Uh, yeah, well, let's let's find. I'm looking at Romance of the Three Commies. Oh, that that sounds good. <laughs> what page is that on? Um, uh, 32, 31. Uh, oh, this one also start. This one starts with Arthur's notes. <laughs> I'll, I'll, read, I'll read the Arthur's notes on this Once one. Once in a life, The dudes. What is up, G's and B's? I ain't been written in the plays in so long. Login. It sukst. But now I are back a kick with a vengeance. Yeah, just leak, ends. just leak Kevin Costner in that flick Revenge. Ha, ah, uh, nya, nya, ha, 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 nya. <laughs> that flick is hilarious. But yay, play is about Orientals people from China doing their rice <laughs> uh -oh. thing. Ooh, man, uh -oh. Oh, uh, oh, no. <laughs> Siren emojis. JJ Sorry, I literally did not read any of this. I love your terrible <laughs> spelling, but... Oh. God. No, we're not reading this. <laughs> no, I, I agree. I didn't realize that. Apologies to everybody on Earth. Yeah. <laughs> There's another one I don't think we should read, but it does say postmodern in the summer. Oh my God. <laughs> and it also it has similar issues. But... Can you uh, tell me how postmodern is spelled? Because uh, searching is not. It's obvious. actually spelled properly. Oh. But there's no dash. Oh, okay. <laughs> It gets the kind stranger. of. Oh yeah, no, we can't read that. Although we, I do like the way he spells serial killer. <laughs> Tricks he murder. A, he wrote a sequel to The Stranger, and uh, this is not good. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure that this is because he wrote this because his goth girlfriend broke up with him. <sighs> you know, know, Jack Chick, you picked knows. a pretty shitty doc. I gotta tell you. <laughs> mm. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I feel like the subtitle is the abortionist's daughter. That, that sounds like an art flick, oh. <laughs> like the illusionist. I really, uh, I really like the characters in uh, the Stranger trilogy part two. Leprosy killed the leper. <laughs> um, uh, that old chestnut. So uh, I, I honestly think we have to stop reading this document. <laughs> okay. yeah, uh, all the the inappropriateness of the content is uh, <laughs> just getting more dense racist. as we reach it. So uh, any ideas on what to do for the next 10 minutes? <laughs> it's ramping up quite a bit. I mean, I play some Jackbox everywhere while gesticulating wildly while yelling ha. All right, fine. Uh, I'll just go reopen... Slash R slash come. No, 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 no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I still have the creepy pasta doc open. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's find something from that. <laughs> let's, let's do a flash. I, I was out for creepy pasta, so I uh, I missed all oh, that. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> it's late night. It's like Art Bell time. Let's do some scary stories. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the witching hour. Okay, and then the deep state tried to. <laughs> sorry, Amelia's been offline for a while. Uh, yeah. Sorry, Amelia. <laughs> Addicted to games is similar in tone to the scripts you were reading. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so I, I don't, I don't know what you guys covered in this. So somebody just pick one. <laughs> Oh, we didn't. Yeah. That was one. That was a. I had to choose between that and a different one, and I chose the other one. Okay, let's uh, let's do alternate universe where you pick the uh, the addicted to games. <laughs> a parallel that. dimension yeah. and addicted Mirror to games. Universe. Zarla's got a goatee. <laughs> <laughs> Evil Zarla is addicted to games. Oh no, it got deleted off of Devart, well, but I'll read it off the doc. The doc yeah. So May tenth, nineteen ninety nine. Dear diary, I have decided to finally write in this vicuas. I want to document my life alone. My name is Amanda, age twenty three. Wow, okay, that's older than I thought. With dark brown hair and blue eyes, wearing thick rim glasses, a brown jumper, some blue jennies, and I love to read books. Well, that's me anyway. I'm definitely not twelve. I was in the shopping mall today and I saw a huge crowd crowd around a game store. I don't use Nuali play games, but I was interested in them, like Legend of Zelda. I so went to see what the fuss was about, and it turned out a new game had been released called Pokemon Red and Blue. It was somewhat interesting, so I decided to get a copy along with a Game Boy. Right now, I just passed Kanto Route 1, and the game is fun, collecting gym badges and Pokemon. Anyway, I should stop writing and keep playing. 
1999. Dear Diary, finally beat Pokemon. Game was amazing except for Lavender Town. That place creeps me out. Anyway, I plan to get more games in the future. November 17th. <laughs> Hello, Diary. I have something special to talk about, and that's a new Zelda game. It's called Majora's Mask. It's a really creepy game, and I have to go play it now. So, December 24th. <laughs> um, Hi, right now I'm playing more games. Yay, usually I would spend time with my family, but I don't have time for them. Just games. This is like somebody's Twitter feed. December 27th, hello. Today my friend tried to make me stop playing and spend some time with family, and when I refused, he took my Nintendo 64 and I couldn't cope with it. Maybe I should stop, but I just can't. Uh, bunch of question marks, so, eh? Elp, I need help. I don't know what day or dat it is. I'm just a one. Lee's help. It feels like e-life is ruined, and that is not exaggerating. I feel like I'm... I, I have no idea what that word's even supposed to be. I feel like I'm dead inside. Like, nothing can help me now. I shouldn't have played those games. February 17th. I guess this is also written in her diary. A woman was found dead in her apartment last night. A police report says that someone heard screaming last night. And when police arrived, they saw a woman dressed in a brown jumper and a pair of thick rim glasses hanging from the ceiling. And the rope seemed to be a controller of some sort. They say she writ a diary about what she did alone. And it seemed to be playing video games. It's also reported she left a message behind in her last entry saying, Help me, as is repeated through the whole diary. Her death will not be forgotten. And may she rest in peace. Remember, video games can be bad as well as good. Maybe not hanging yourself bad, but still bad for other things. <laughs> the end. <laughs> Yay. Yay! That was very scary. It was very, very scary. Oh, was I supposed to be terrified? I, yes. I was pretty terrified. Weren't you? <laughs> there oh, should have been no, chills running up and down your spine. I, I am now. I am she now. was playing that game. You know, the, the I, game with the mask. No, I just feel like there needed to be a diary entry that was, ha, 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 ha. Ham. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Last word. <laughs> that should be the last word. <laughs> All right, so I just got. Uh, <laughs> we're just getting into the experimental. This just in from Mantra. <laughs> this, no, this just in from A Meach. Uh, oh. uh, it's just a link to a web page, <laughs> and I guess I have a specific, specific one for Dream Lover Labs. Uh, <laughs> the fuck is bail management training? Oh, well, we gotta find out. Well, Better look into this. Here, uh, uh, Jack, check. Uh, read us the uh, the the overview of the the company here. So, so we're, so we're the... just you know taking another tangent, checking out dreamloverlabs.com. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It sounds good. Okay, well I clicked I on love the dreams. overview and now I mm, what the fuck is this? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Dream Lover Labs creates scientific mail management solutions you won't find anywhere else on planet Earth. We proudly introduce the Dream Lover 2000, a radio-controlled electric pulse mail chastity device add-on, and the Dream Lover Chrono Vault, a high-spec internet-controlled time lock safe. The effectiveness of Dream Lover products reflects their sound scientific basis. Our research is based on solid mail management theory, drawing from behavioral psychology, mail chastity physiology, and operant conditioning. I wonder how long it takes to <laughs> how long it takes to major in mail management theory. <laughs> that's uh, not a degree that's going to do anyone. <laughs> uh, for uh, mail, man mail uh, training theory. Uh, let's, let's hammer down a little further, Jimmy Franks. Uh, tell us about the permanent attitude enhancer. Oh yeah. <clears throat> well, the uh, Dream Lover 2000 system includes a wearable receiver, a remote control, and a USB interface. The permanent <laughs> attitude enhancer. The receiver is ultra miniaturized, 20 millimeter max thickness, 74 millimeter max width, waterproof, and can operate for up to three months on a single battery. The electrodes do not need the application of special gels, nor do they cause itching or discomfort. These features are crucial in obtaining true long term compliance. This the isn't the creepypasta doc, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, but I really don't we, know we moved off that, right? <laughs> The Sounds device very can ominous. be comfortably no worn without needing to remove it for battery replacements, showers, or baths for months at a time, allowing your male to become thoroughly acclimated to his permanently installed attitude enhancer. We're sure it's not a creepy pasta, <laughs> right? <laughs> Would you like, like to an ARG? More? Sure. Yes. Let's let's find about the the guaranteed <laughs> pulse availability. <laughs> well, the guaranteed pulse availability, the yes ma'am button is there when you need it most. <laughs> Good. I, I, it's I like was, a bank. I always need one of those. When you're the, lost at night. 
we're there it's, when we need it most. It's, it's it's like a medic alert bracelet for your dick um, <laughs> when you fall. <laughs> <laughs> I got a heart on it. I can't, I can't get it up. Get it up. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay. Ding. The Ultra Thin Remote Control can be recharged through your PC's USB port. The battery lasts for months. Oh, hang on a second. Battery lasts for months with a single charge. It can be recharged in less than three hours. When the battery is depleted, even just for a few seconds of charge, allow the device to become <laughs> operational for several hours, getting you through a critical moment. As I gotta if that weren't enough. <laughs> I can't wait. I can't wait any longer. <laughs> As if that weren't enough, the remote control is fully functional while charging. The Dream Lover 2000 system includes a mini USB adapter allowing you to plug the remote control into any PC's USB port. Uh, operating system independent without carrying around bulky cables. Bob, Bob, watch this thing sticking out of my, my computer. <laughs> Just ignore that. Yeah, And uh, we've thought of everything. Uh, guaranteed delivery, because unlike your mail, signals should penetrate. <laughs> what? I just made a, I just made a joke. <laughs> I, I think wireless communication was. Oh, okay. uh, um, yeah, so uh, that's not, uh, it's not really that interesting. Yeah, no, we, we also learned that this this works uh, in through any browser of Windows PC, any browsers of Mac PC. It'll also work through uh, Parallels if you want to virtualize Windows and your Mac, and uh, also use whatever the hell this thing is. <laughs> Does it run on Linux? In any browser? Uh, doesn't say anything about Linux, uh, but mm. it'll work in any browser to Android mobile or tablet and uh, mm -hmm. any mobile phone or Skype to Android mobile or tablet. Uh -huh. Yeah, but I mean, right? I mean, can we like submit a thing to find out about Linux? <laughs> <laughs> it's important. <laughs> yeah, which, which, Mail's which, maximum which, courtship investment. 24-hour well, like hackathon to... Uh, <laughs> 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 to <remember. laughs> The over. problem is they, is they support Ubuntu inherently, but I'm I'm running Red Hat, and so I want. To... <laughs> <laughs> um, you see, there's so there's the Dream Lover 2000 Lite and the Dream Lover 2000 uh, Pro, uh, oh, also wow, the yeah. Dream Lover 2000 Pro mo Mobile Edition, and uh, just you'll be good to know that they both support uh, aversive current pulse in three intensities. All pulses are customized through the DL2K Link USB peripheral, so. So we hey, haven't boots. really, we still, okay, we kind of have an idea what this is. It's a, no, an no, electric no. pulse mail chastity device, but what does it actually do? Oh, guys, come on. Uh, I've, got, I've got some really great news for you. Okay. Like, uh -huh. really, you guys are going to be really excited. About okay, this, okay, okay, what do you got? Uh -huh. The Dream Lover 2000 is 100% compatible out of the box <laughs> with the CB3. <laughs> I've just, I just now noticed what Amelia's been trying. <laughs> 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 like the <laughs> so the dream the dream lover 2000 is 100 percent compatible out of the box with the cb 3000 male chastity device by al enterprises the dream lover 2000 can be installed easily on a cb 6000 with a minor cage modification described below Due, due to the device agnostic electrode design, it should be possible to install the Dream Level 2000 on many other devices. However, this may require skill and tools. Huh. Um, I, I have a question. I have a question. Uh -huh. uh, I, I have a question about the uh, the price comparison of um, the Dream Level 2000 uh, and its incredible value. Uh, <laughs> I want to compare it at a simpler attempt of electrical simulation and male chastity using a simple shock collar. And the market is so crowded, you know? You really got to stand out. Um, yeah, so, uh, you know, for, 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 for tamper evidence, uh, the Latowski radio receiver chamber with an Inditech IUT300 um, has no. Wow, um, I just saw a picture of it. <laughs> wow. Um but the Dream, Level 2, Dream Lover 2000 series has a penis detector. <laughs> you pass it over the dude and it's like, whoop, whoop, whoop. You know, we were joking about the OS compatibility, but it's a pretty serious issue. I'm in, in the blog and uh, one of the complaints from here from Bust My Nuts, <laughs> just back in February, writes, well, this sounds great. It would be a better use of resources to be the interface to run on Mac OS, as this has been the reason why many mistresses I have spoken to won't use this awesome product. 
Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that that's gotta be it. Hey F plus. <laughs> Hey, what, what have we learned in this mess of an hour? Uh, I, I learned that uh, the the Dream Over Two Thousand has arousal induction. Have you seen a picture of the thing? Learned uh, mail management. I think this is actually a really good. Amy, thank you for this. It was a really good contrast uh, to the to the gross misogyny <laughs> thing that we started on this. Um, I guess the thing I learned is that uh, is that several times in the, in the F plus uh, through our, our our regular recordings we've gone down bad paths. We found things that we probably uh, shouldn't shouldn't cover, and it had the uh, advantage of being able to scrap the recording and start over again. Um, but this <laughs> uh, one yeah. is sort of uh, sort of stuck with us. So uh, apologies if anybody was offended by the material on this one. Uh, <laughs> it's got to smoothly go by. Yeah, it's it's yeah. part of the process, and we just move on. <laughs> I mean, it was mm-hmm. it was uh, it was picked by Jack Chick, so you can just. <laughs> um. What? It's below forty degrees. It normally takes one point seventy nine million hours, two hundred seven years, before a ten percent possibility of failure is seen. Mm-hmm. Like <laughs> these dudes are incredibly serious about this. Mm-hmm. Incredibly serious about this. Uh, I've, I I learned that I've found the new name for my new happy hardcore band, which is Full Trans Penile Current Delivery. <laughs> <laughs> That's really good. Uh, That's sweet. It's a really good name. Okay, and uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna uh, take a, another short break. Uh, I encourage everybody, uh, both participating and watching, to uh, get up, stretch your legs. Uh, get some water, go to the bathroom, do things other than just uh, sitting in your chair forever because that's not so good for you. Um, also, uh, <laughs> a round of applause for Amelia, who has uh, been a great sport throughout this, uh, mm-hmm. um, uh, even with some stream difficulties. And uh, we'll be back uh, also, with the Jimmy Frank special thank, hour. Oh. Also, thank Ooh. you to A Meat for rescuing us. Yes, and thank you <laughs> for rescuing us out Thanks of the world. Thanks for throwing us that, uh, that life preserver. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, and we'll be back with, uh, let's see, me, possibly Lemon, depending on how he's feeling, uh, Jack oh, Chick, Jimmy Franks, okay. uh, Stog, and Portax on art again. <laughs> so, thanks a lot, everybody. <laughs> <laughs>